Lousy's Buku Butter Pecan. So we got a pretty interesting one here. I'm going for one. I'm probably going to ramble as I dig in here. I can't wait. Um. Yeah. So this guy, this guy, I don't remember his name was that. This this guy, Sam, is his name. He's been through the ringer. I'll uh. Just so I don't ramble too long, I'll attach an article, a uh, news article, it's just a video, about six minutes, I believe. Man, where this guy's been, where he is, what's going on, it, it's a cool watch. I'll uh, I'll throw it up in my story as long as he lets me, I'm sure he will. Anyway, uh, his daughter, it's just him single-handedly, and let me make sure I get this right. Single-handedly, he makes 40 to 50 was it 40 to 50? He makes four batches each week, 40 to 50 quarts each batch, plus a dairy free batch of 35 quarts. So basically, he makes 50 gallons a week all by himself, all by hand. It's quite impressive. And you should go check out their Instagram page. Obviously, I'll attach them to it. But his daughter, Angelina. Shout out Angelina. Uh, helps with all the uh, the artwork on these on these lids, so it's always a cool design. Go go check it out to see more. But Buku Buku Butter Pecan is that's another thing. I just keep I'm sorry, keep having thoughts. He's a custard based guy, which means egg yolks. Eggs. I'm a fan. Anyways, it is a literally a butter custard base. So he turns the base and he literally puts straight up butter into that. Next, we have these uh, caramel sorrel. I'll go into more details on that in a minute. Lastly, we have these toffee coated pecans. Toasted, roasted, excuse me, roasted, salted, toffee-covered pecans. Now, he's currently in the process of upgrading a lot of his equipment. I'll go ahead and tell you here's one minor issue here. We have do have, while there's still swirl at the top, we do have some sinkage going on here. But, you know, let's dig in. Let's see what we get before we judge a book by its cover, which I apologize I'm doing. So let's get a first look here. You can see the butter base. A little bit, a little bit of that swirl right there on the corner, right up here. Sorry, I'm gonna hold it still for you now. And all those pecans, just chunkage everywhere. So starting with the with the custard, it is a, uh, it's great. It's, I mean, come on guys, legit. It's just full of butter. Full of flavor for that reason. Super buttery. I'm like trying to think of if I've had a, a butter pecan type base that is actually made with butter. Like it's velvety, luscious, smooth. It's phenomenal, really, really good. So since this is the first time lousy, Paul's right there, lousy, L-A-O-Z-I, don't get the pronunciation wrong, comes from, and you'll see in the video that I attached in the story. By the way, thanks for the shirt, Sam, 2X, fits nicely. Uh, victory comes from finding opportunities in problems. That's Sun Tzu. He mistakenly thought it was Lao Tzu. And when he learned uh, his mistake, he uh, decided to go and name his brand Lao Tzu. I digress. There's way more to the story than that. We don't have enough time. So, base, oh, the quality, it's great. Um, dance, creamy. I mean, most crust custards are really good. Premium, 
top tier. That sort of thing, I keep giving you spoil alerts. He's only been around for like a little over a year, believe it or not. Lost his job in the pandemic, started to open his own company. Here we are. And I'm fortunate enough to have tried it. That's the other thing. He only makes quartz, but you all know this is ice cream by the pint. I got the special hookup with some pints. I'd, I'd have it no other way. All right, let's get into these toffee, salted, toasted, toffee pecans. Um, since I'm not getting much swirl, because there's going to be an issue with it all at the bottom, I hate to admit, but there was a fair amount at the top, but it's something we'll critique on. The pecans, he toasts them in the oven and he basically makes like this toffee stove top. And after the, after the pecans are toasted, brought out, he kind of like mixes all the toffee together, lets it cool. So mixes it in with the toffee, lets it cool, and then crushes it all up. And they are, I mean, dare I say perfect? I mean, they're, they're out of this world. Somehow, he maintains the crunch. Phenomenal crunch. I even get the little bit of like candied grittiness from the toffee coating. And you can taste every aspect of what he described as what is in the description. They're toasted, full on, full blown toasted flavor. A little bit of salt, not as much as I was expecting, but the saltiness is there. And obviously it's a nut, it's a pecan. It tastes just like a pecan. With the toffee you get kind of, you know, it kind of builds uh, on the butter pecan flavor that it's kind of like a caramel, a sweet, mildly buttery caramel type flavor. But man, they are, they're perfectly crunchy. Some of the best pecans I've ever had in ice cream. Lastly is that butter swirl which you've already talked about how it's kind of, it's not as thick as I was like, I would like, excuse me. It is, it is thinner. So I don't know if it was a transition, a transit problem or whatnot, but you can see, you can see it coated here. Oh, nice save. And you can see a bunch of it at the bottom here. So you can tell it's pretty runny right there, running out of the container. But don't let me, doesn't mean you can't enjoy the flavor, right? So if the butter custard wasn't enough butter for you, he takes the caramel as he's making it. Is that the right word for making caramel? Whatever. And he adds in a pound of butter, <laughs> a pound of butter. So it's that whole saying like, what is it like? Hey man, I heard you like butter. So he puts you in some, some butter in your caramel for you to enjoy your butter with your butter. Believe it or not, it's not overly, like, it's not too much though, at least not for me. It's full of butter, full of butter flavor. I love it, clearly. But, point being, it works really, really well with the caramel because this caramel is sweeter. It's the sweetest part of the pine. So all that butter, helps to kind of, I don't want to say mellow out the flavor, but even it out some. But point being, in all of this, my first experience with Lousy, who gets excited about butter pecan? Probably your grandmother or I don't know, your father. It seems like the younger generation, I'm sorry guys, I know I'm stepping on some toes here. Like, I don't get excited about butter pecan, it's so boring. This one is ramped up. Butter pecan, butter, butter pecan on steroids. I'm a huge fan. Hopefully he can grow. He can, you know, maybe ship to everyone. But he knew what he was getting into when he sent it to me. Wasn't scared. He's been actually been dying to get it to me. We've been talking for quite a while now. And this one, 100% delivered. Buku Butter Pecan gets a nine out of 10.